So I've got a question here from Patreon supporter Chris Locks. Hi, Chris. How are you going, man? Uh, do you have any advice for how to build a network of other devs that can help with specific needs? Example, artwork, animation, design tips, etc. I know Discord is decent for this, but I was wondering if you have any information on other resources. There are essentially two types of uh, relationships that can fall into this group. You know, connections and associations that are a free exchange of ideas like friends or, you know, acquaintances. And those which are derived from like a value exchange of in a predetermined kind, such as, you know, a developer pays an artist for some, you know, artwork. Both are hugely valuable networks to have for uh, game developers. Basically, anyone with a specialized uh, skill should typically be treated as a contractor that is compensated for their time. I know artists um, are pretty sick of being, you know, promised revenue share for some kind of, you know, indie games that never get finished and they never get paid. Artists don't particularly respond well to these kind of propositions anymore. So it kind of has to be more of a financial incentive for them. But that's kind of another topic, perhaps. But to find these sorts of people to add to your network, I think is fairly easy for the most part. You just have to go to where they hang out. If you need artists, um, Deviant Art is really good for this. You know, they have forums specifically for people looking for, you know, collaboration. ArtStation is also good for finding portfolios of artists and, you know, contacting them directly. Um, Dribble, um, CG Society is really good um, if you want, if you're looking for like 3D work or 3D rendering work. Uh, for audio, you might want to check out, you know, even SoundCloud or even what I like to do is go to like um, stock libraries from like Envato, uh, Audio Jungle, these kind of sites and find music you like. Audio Jungle. And then you look at the um, creator's name and you can usually contact them directly or, you know, find them online using the same name and contact them. And there's also uh, Fiverr, which is really good for finding um, pretty much anything. <laughs> Fiverr has become this kind of one-stop shop for um, all different types of things, so audio work, voiceover work, um, box art and things like that. You know, I used Fiverr to create um, some early versions of my box art for the, my game but I found it's a very much a case of buyer beware on Fiverr where I've got a feeling that a lot of these are well not necessarily a lot but some of these artists are I don't want to say falsifying but maybe embellishing their portfolios showing these you know great uh, things they can do but when it comes down to actually doing the work it's never as good as the portfolio work and that could be for various reasons obviously people are not always as invested into someone else's projects as they are their own stuff. But if it's more of a friendship and acquaintance situation you're looking for, I do believe that Discord is probably right now the best place for this. The quality of the server is obviously very important here. Um, you know, I like to think that the Lost Relic Games uh, Discord, though I guess small compared to some of the more bigger, more established ones, the quality of conversation and discourse is very high. Um, and I think that's important. You want to have an active community that has shown to be positive and helpful and not a bunch of trolls, basically. So, you know, I take pride in knowing that, um, you know, the Lost Relic Game server has a really good moderation team. They're very attentive. Um, they listen to people. We try to make adjustments to the community. We set up new rooms for people to hang out in. You know, we've got like art competitions going on uh, weekly, which are really good at finding uh, potential um, artists. So because, you know, they put their work on Showcase and then you can, you know, DM them directly or, you know, get into some kind of a conversation with them, strike up a friendship. And, you know, so that's how it typically works. But, you know, relationship building, of course, is a skill in itself. It takes time. You've got to cultivate relationships. And it has to be a two-way kind of exchange where, um, you know, give a little, take a little, basically. You know, sometimes you might run into these people online or in real life where they're very take-take. You know, they... Um, give the illusion that they want to have an, one of these kind of working acquaintance situations, but um, they'll take as much information as they can from you. But when it comes time for, um, you know, them to return the favor, it's they're kind of gone. So, you know, I think it's very important to cultivate that trust um, with people and have that kind of um, fair exchange. Um, you know, I have a few friends like this online, very few um, that I kind of have 
available at a click away and we exchange ideas and um, we send each other screenshots of things we're working on and ask questions like how does this look how does that look and you know so and we have this kind of fair exchange of um, showcasing things and giving feedback so that's very useful thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do drop the video a like and thanks to all the patreon supporters who helped make this video possible if you'd like to help support this channel and my work you can check out the patreon link below Alternatively, you can wishlist my game on Steam. I'd really appreciate that. I'll drop a link for that below. Stay safe, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.